I want to tell her how I feel. How do I do that? Hey brother, let's talk about this want, this need to tell her how I feel. I've made mistakes in the past. I, I want to let her know that I want things to change. I want her to share how she feels. I want to talk about the future. I want to talk about money. I want to talk about the kids. I want to talk about how that she can tell me you know, what's gone wrong and that even if it's a bad thing that I want to... Okay. We're stacking way too many things onto what we hope to be one conversation. It's like 10 pieces are jammed into the same barrel and then we're going to try to open up that barrel and fire hose her with this conversation. And guess what? <laughs> that's, that's too much. That's too much at one time. We've come to this place because we either neglected something, both of us have acted in an inappropriate way, an irresponsible way, there's pain in the past. There's small T traumas or there's some big traumas in the past. And the way we heal those, the way we move forward, the way we create something new is not to open up the barrel and fire hose her with 10 different things. Think of it like 10 different boxes. You're gonna pull these 10 boxes out of that barrel and you're gonna choose only one at a time. Only one at a time. And when you ask to talk, maybe you haven't talked in a while, if you want to talk, ask for what you want. So sweetie, I'd love to talk for, for, with you for a few minutes. Or I'd love to talk with you for a few minutes tonight. Now, if you haven't talked in a while, she's, she might think like, okay, what do you want to talk about? Well, I have something on my mind. Is this a good time to talk for a few minutes? And basically get her to sit down with you. Don't try to preempt it. Don't give her a sales pitch. Don't, right? It's just, hey, well, I'd just like to talk for a few minutes, actually. And get her to sit down with you. And then pick one of these boxes to discuss. Take baby steps. Do not try to open up more than one box in any one conversation. Okay, you just want to start opening her up to things. Don't jump to level 10 and this is how I feel and oh, like I shouldn't have done that and all this deep, like don't jump to the super deep stuff first. That's 10 levels deep. Right now we're rebuilding our relationship with her or we're showing her that we're calm and centered and mature and masculine. And you're basically wanting to open up communication with her, right? Which means you're trying to connect with her. It's more about the energetic connection with her than it is we need to communicate more. You know, no, you don't. What you want, what you want is connection with her. And that needs to start with level one and build. So think about how deep, how intense is this box that I want to open and pick the one that's level one or level two. Don't open the level 10 box right away. It's going to blow her out of the water. She'll get defensive, angry. She won't know what to do with it. It'll feel like pressure. Okay, so level one. Maybe talking about the kids is level one, right? Ah, I just wanted to talk about the kids for a minute. I noticed that, you know, Johnny really enjoyed baseball practice yesterday. I thought that was super cool. And she may say, yeah. Okay. She's got all these expectations. Where is this going? What's his point? The last time we talked about Johnny in baseball, he bitched about how much money it costs, or he gave me a hard time about picking up Johnny late from baseball practice. She has all these things going on in her head, these expectations. You're trying to break that cycle, break that habit of those negative things, those negative little traumas, those arguments that have happened in the past. So I just noticed Johnny really enjoyed baseball practice yesterday. Yeah, so what? Well, it's really cool how he feels. And then talk about something that's positive and energetic about Johnny. Like he really loves playing with those kids. And I haven't thought of that in a long time, you know, just those moments where he enjoys what he's in. He's not worried about anything else. And he's just in the flow of the game. She's like, yeah, that's cool. Okay, if this box of conversation isn't leading anywhere, wrap up the conversation. Well, cool, that's all that I wanted to talk about. Thanks for talking. And then move on. Move on to something else. End the conversation in a positive way. It's probably going to be small. 
it's probably going to be short. You've got to practice ending, ending that conversation in a positive way because guess what? In the past, it hasn't ended in a positive way probably many, many times. And so she or you are in the habit of we only stop talking when we start to fight. All right, you got to get that, you got to stop that habit of fighting to end the conversation. Let's build a new habit of ending the conversation in a positive way. Hey, thanks for talking. That's all that I wanted to talk about. Do you want a cup of coffee? Leave the room, move on to the next thing, go to the next meeting that you have, move on from there. So one box at a time. Open up the level one, the level two box, and only talk about one thing at a time. Do not stack multiple boxes in the same conversation. We're trying to rebuild connection in a simple way, in a positive way, in a way that she doesn't have to get defensive, a way that she doesn't feel you know, attacked or blamed for anything, and you're not coming across needy, trying to go on and on or talk about these deep level 10 things when you're not there. Okay, take one box at a time, a level one or level two box, open it up, have a positive conversation, close it, and move on. Good to talk to you, brother. Talk to you soon. I'm going to tell you about a woman whose heart is sunshine, whose body burned hot. I'm going to tell you about a woman whose cold is tundra with some frozen eyes. I can tell by the way she moves that she cares and it's lovely too.